Solve the following equation for x. We've got 3 times 4x minus 5 is equal to 13. So writing the equation out, first step would be to expand the brackets. So we needed to do 3 times 4, which gives me 12x, and then 3 times minus 5, which gives me minus 15, is equal to 13. So just repeat what I've done there. 3 times 4, which gives me 12x, and then 3 times minus 5, which gives me minus 15. The next step, obviously, is to try and get x on its own. So the opposite of taking 15 is to add 15. That's just going to leave 12x on that side. And then 13 plus 15 is going to give me 28. Next, we're going to have to divide by 12. So we're going to have the x 28 over 12. Now this can be simplified because 4 goes into 28 7 times and into 12 3 times. We've got 7 over 3. Right. That gives me 3 into 7 gives me 2 with 1 over 3 left over. Now, if we check, we're going to have 3 times 4 times, now it's better when you do the check to do the, use the improper fraction, so it's 7 over 3 minus 5. Taking that 3 into the bracket gives me 12 times 7 over 3 minus 3 times 5 minus 5, which gives me minus 15. Now the 3 and the 12 will simpl uh, simplify because 3 goes into 12 4 times and therefore into 3 1 time. So now we need to work out 4 times 7 minus 15. 4 times 7 is 28. Take away 15. 28 take away 15 is 13. And that's what I wanted. So that actually should be a tick. Okay, so the final answer is x is equal to 2 and 1 third.